Claro que sí, gobernador. Sí, solamente dos cucharaditas va suficiente. De nada. Oh, hi there. I'm Ali Javanback, medical director here at UCSB Student Health, and welcome to another edition of the Doc is in Video. Spring break's right around the corner, which means that gauchos will be off to exotic destinations like Mazatlan, Cabo San Lucas, and Palm Springs. One thing that these activities have in common is time in the sun. So this week, we're talking about sun protection. And for that, most people turn to good old sunscreen. The sunscreen we all know and love and use has a special designation, SPF. Those three letters stand for sun protection factor. And the number with that designates how long it'll take before you get burned. That's right. Sunscreen doesn't prevent sunburns, it only delays them. For example, sunscreen of an SPF 10 means that it takes you 10 times longer to get sunburned using this product than using nothing at all. But this is only in a controlled laboratory setting, far away from wind and water and blood, sweat and tears. So in the real world, it wears off and needs to be reapplied. Even the most extreme all day sport Olympic cream on wax shell sunscreen needs to be reapplied in a real world setting. So why bother with sun protection? As most people know, the biggest trick of sun exposure is skin cancer. If that's not reason enough, the other reason is that exposure to sun increases wrinkles. A good rule of thumb is to spend 15 minutes of every hour in the shade. So as you're enjoying your spring break, I hope you take the time to practice some good skin protection to keep yourselves healthy in the short term and the long term. Hope you all enjoy your spring break and we'll see you in the spring quarter.